Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to build some simple scaffolding. I recently featured this in a couple of photos on my Instagram channel in the last city update I did, links in the top corner. I had a couple of people ask me how I built these. So this is just a very quick tutorial just to show you the basic premise of how this works. Now, it's pretty simple. I've got a couple of styles here and I'll, I'll show you um, some options as to how you can change the bottom here. So this one on the right obviously is on wheels. This is a bit more like you would see in a small um, refitting, refurbishing of a store perhaps or something like that where it's on wheels and they generally clamp down and then they can be stopped. This one here is a bit more permanent, can be fixed. Now the nice thing with these is you can actually keep building them up as well if you want to or outwards or you can make these as big as you want. Really it boils down to a couple of pieces. So I'm just going to take our friend the janitor off of this one and show you how this is put together. Now the nice thing with this mock is you can actually customize the size and shape of it. I've gone with a 2x6 as my deck size because I just think it's actually a well proportioned size in relation to minifigures. I can make it bigger but it's up to you and again like I said you can actually make it um, taller as well or wider. You can just keep adding these in so up to you how you want to do it. Now obviously 2x6 plates there. These clips here, now these are the ones with the two on. You might want to use the ones with a single clip in the middle um, for the reason that the single clip ones will actually go on the, the lower rung there if you want to and you'll see why you might want to do that in a minute. Two of these ladder pieces, they come in a number of colors. I just have a stack of black ones. And then you need two of these and I use these ones. I found the shape fit a bit better when we were putting it in crosswise and then one two by four bar like this, uh, sorry, four long bar, which just goes in there like that. So we'll do the cross member first and don't put it in there too tightly because we're actually going to adjust the size of that one in a minute and you'll see why. So we'll put our two decks together first. There's our first deck. There's our second deck. And we'll just clip that into there clip that one into there. Now I'm going to move them just ever so slightly this way just because it makes it easy. I'm going to clip this in now because it makes it simpler in a minute. So there we go. So you start to see how that comes together really really easily. Now we'll put this top bar in and clip that one into there. So now we have the basic premise of our scaffolding and we'll clip that one into there and we have a very simple piece of scaffolding. Now you might want to put another member at the front there up to you but that to me works well doesn't need to have two you don't actually need two on real scaffolding unless it's big scaffolding so yeah just like that. Now in terms of finishing the bottom off there's a couple of ways you can do this and this might just depend on your parts drawer. So what I've done here, these are just a simple three long black bar again with white um, one by one studs with a hole in the middle that actually look like wheels when you put them on there and they clip in like that. So you might want to use that one so that makes it look like it's a rolling scaffolding. The other option is to use something like these. So. Uh, the the what I call the tap piece so you put that in there put two of those on there and then what you have is something that will actually clip into the studs on a baseboard perhaps which just makes it really really stable so again that's another option you might want to go with other options include just using a simple one of these and literally doing that and again just clipping it on there and that's pretty solid it'll fit on both ends because it's just a six bar again and so on and so forth it's up to you it depends what you've got in your parts bin there's another option there but yeah I'm I actually personally like the uh, the wheel approach so that is what I will go with and that's how you build some basic scaffolding for your city like I said you can do all kinds of things with this like changing the color 
changing the size of it you can build upwards now remember if you do build upwards you'll need to replace these double ones for single clips so that you can put another ladder piece on top you can build to the side the parts list for this mock is included in the description down below all you do is load that into brick link by creating a new list and saying import and it will ask you to import this xml file and that's it let me know in the comments what you think how you would use it i'm going to put my builder guy back on here oh he's got his coffee cup here that's obviously important being a, a builder uh, he's got a spray can of some kind might be for oiling i look forward to seeing what you do with this idea if you're new to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and turn the bell on i do post regularly thank you so much for watching and i will see you again very very soon